Hi, so in this particular video we've been given this problem where we've got a triangle and the measurement of the longest side is x plus 4, this other side is x plus 3 and x minus 1 and we've been asked to find the value of x. This is going to form part of a playlist on finding x in these types of um, shapes so I hope this is helpful for you. Um, what we're really saying here is that um, if I have the perimeter of this particular triangle, you've got to imagine that you've got a little fella here and he's going to run all the way up here. If he's going to run all the way up here, he's going to run x plus 4. So that's the distance he'll run to get to the very top here. And then he's going to go down the side and that's going to be plus x plus 3. And then he's going to come along the bottom here and that's a distance of x minus 1. So that's plus x minus 1. So each of those three distances there, if he runs all the way around the perimeter, then he's run a total of 19 centimetres. He's only very small. Okay, so he's run 19 centimetres. And then really it's just a case of what they call gathering-like terms to be able to work out the value of x. So what we're saying here is that we've got 1x there, another x there, another x there. So if we add all of those x's together, we end up with 3x. And then we look at the numbers themselves. So we've got plus 4, plus 3, which is 7, and minus 1, which is going to be 6. So on this side of the equation, we end up with 3x plus 6, and that equals 19, because we haven't done anything over there. So what we're saying really is that a simplified version of all of this information about this triangle, uh, the perimeter of this triangle, is that. That's a simplified way of putting everything. Okay, and then it's a case really of solving this to find the value of x itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus 6 from both sides, because if I do that, it means this will cancel out, and on the left-hand side, I end up with 3x. And on the right-hand side, I end up with 19 minus 6, which is 13. So 3 lots of x equals 13, and then if I divide through by 3, both sides, I end up with x on this side, and this is... 13 divided by 3. Okay, well, that you can either leave it at that if you wanted to, or you could write it as a mixed number, which is 4 holes, because uh, 4 times 3 is 12, and then 1 third left over. So x is either 13 over 3 or 4 and 1 third. Okay, um, this is the end of this particular video. I hope it's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below. There are a number of other videos around a similar sort of area in the rest of the playlist. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.